People, my people. Now, tonight is a result of one of those habitual accidents that come from me um, basically liking booze. Okay. I went to a local producer's night up in Knott Distillery. I think it was last week. I bumped into Gavin from HMM Hill Martin Distillery and they said, we've got a new gin out. I went, okay, I'm absolutely allergic to gins. As you know, I only reviewed about 200 of them. Um, so my allergy is well and truly established. And he said, we've made a chai gin. And he said, look, the daughter's thought it was a good idea. He went, mm, chai, mm, tea, not so good. So what I ended up doing was I walked out with a bottle like this. So I will give the sound of happiness because that's what I do. I'm the sort of guy. The sound of happiness. The smell of happiness is, yeah. Uh, the girls know what she's done doing. So, okay, it's 43%. The back of the bottle says seven exotic spices. I wish people would stop calling it spices exotic. Look, I'm sorry. Your idea of exotic and my idea of exotic are more likely very different creatures. Okay, I've lived with Southeast Asians for about and a half of my life. So, um, exotic spices, no, I'm sorry. Um, and I can't think of a spice that I would actually call exotic. Um, and juniper berries and honey. Now, okay, so we've got the spices. We know that there is star and he's in this. There's a little bit of ginger in this because that's of her giving this to the other half and that's what she told me is in there. There's also 43% alcohol. They tell me it goes really, really well with a ginger beer. So first off, let's try the second heat. The honey is really on the nose, okay? Yep. Again, it's slightly anise. There's definitely ginger in there. There's nice burn. Yeah. It's it's delicious. These guys have done really well because I kept on looking at the Gavin going, yeah, dude, just keep on pouring on Friday, Friday night, so a neat, um, which is not how I drink it, they recommend that we drink it with a ginger beer. Now I must confess, oh, Father, Father forgive me for I have ginned. That's my conversion for the night. When I first tried this, I tried it with Bundaberg non-alcoholic ginger beer. I went, mm -hmm. You know, I tend to think Bundaberg products are, it's a nice city, nice town on Queensland coast, but they tend to be somewhat, I don't know, overrated. You know, I'm more like offended every Queenslander who whoever watched this. What I did this evening is I picked up a bottle of Matzo's ginger beer. You can see where this works. This ginger beer is, it's a mid-strength alcohol, added to 43% of gin, and it comes out looking like this. Now, if you do Matzo's ginger beer with Matzo's mango beer, you end up with what's called an angry ranger. So the beer itself, yeah. beer itself, the ginger for me, if you're gonna give me a ginger product, you have to have burn to it. And Matzo's, I think I've actually turned down the, the, the burn on it. So it was their chili beer. Sorry, not the ginger beer. Makes the angry ranger. So either way, I combine this with this and Oh The result is pan Australian deliciousness, okay? This is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna put a bit more of this in with like this open. <sighs> yes. It's a little bit too tight. Ice cold. I dump the rest of the beer into this baby. And I can see this just destroying summers. Okay. Um, I can't give you the price that I will be providing a link to it though. So yeah. Um, this is one of the 11 drinks for Christmas. I promise I'll review it. So drink this with 
this um, and you're going to be very happy campers this summer you put this underneath my Christmas tree this year and well I might actually confess to actually liking you so this is um, Hill Martin's 7 Spice Chai Gin 43% 500 mils they're new they're, always, they're only three years old barely more than a toddler and they are in plenty which is the reason why when I was up at Nord Distillery which is in Eltham there was Nord there was Imbu which is just down the road and research there was King Lake and there was these guys so they're, yeah it was just delicious so Jin Jin I'm going to go and get my Jin Jin so I can have the Jin Gold Bells and just go and watch the 15 second for torture okay thanks for watching subscribe like share and give me feedback I might be doing these reviews awfully <laughs>